not real sure. And we'll let Antonio Ladies do the interview. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by the Hydro Pros, the rehydration specialist. We are set for three rounds of fighting action in the XKO welterweight division. Oh, the and crowd is lit. And first, fighting out of the next bank, Blue Corner. He is a freestyle fighter. This evening, he is making his professional debut. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in 182 and a half pounds. Fighting out of Abilene, Texas, Andrew Curra. It's a middleweight fight. And now his opponent fighting out of the industry, Matt Red Corner, a wrestler. He is making his professional debut. He stands six foot even, weighing in 185 and a half pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Jack Woodley. And now your referee. Well, Steve we can tell by the band that young Mr. Woodley making his pro debut obviously wrestled for the University of Oklahoma. And that's Which is very prestigious. Incredible. They put out some amazing wrestlers. So if I were Karan, I'd be a little bit worried only because it's very hard to fight guys like that, man. Yeah. Like they're like not I, gonna they're not gonna fight with you back and forth. They're gonna do what they do and that's wrestling. Yeah, that's it. They're, they're, he, so I would expect to see Mr. Woodley here try and take right away. Andrew down. Right away. And you see him and on I'm, the punch and look and, and changing that level, even if it's a feint. You know, you can tell this kid's shadow boxes because right there. Everything is to pretend he don't want to grapple. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, oh. oh my gosh. It's just so hard to fight these type of guys, man, because you, you gotta be willing to you know, take some real chances yeah. in order to catch them. Because like like the way Woodley came out, not one punch he threw was meant to land. No, it was just a But they just came out game. hard, sharp, you know, and then he was level changing behind each one. Man, you can tell this kid that has been shadow boxing and really studying his game plan to win this fight. Well, and Corinne, we're gonna find out what kind of cage work this man can do. You know, which I'm not seeing the best right now. That that right arm that that him and Woodley are fighting over needs to go underneath Woodley's arm so that his left arm can go to the ground. Or if he's going to come this way, he needs to keep the overhook with the left, but he let it go. Well, Woodley's got a body lock, which just kind of leaves him open to getting the crap punched out of him just briefly enough. But you see how easily he takes position here. But well, Woodley's just dropping bombs, Yeah, he's man. a strong young man. Woodley does not want this fight to go further than the next one minute. No, no, he's, I mean, <laughs> he's obviously out to finish this. He's doing a good job. Can. You see him sticking his head underneath uh, Kuran's arm, which will leave that opening where he can just throw those bombs. And even if they don't land, that does not look good for the judge no. or the ref. No, not at all. And the fact that Woodley got his, uh, has got Andrew's other arm trapped, wrapped, trapped and wrapped yep. up, it doesn't give him a lot of options. Yeah, you know, Kuran could go belly down and what, what I call a limp arm, where you basically straighten it out and throw it back. But that doesn't get you out. It just gets your arm free. That's exactly You'd right. You still have to try and work out of that. But Woodley obviously working one of his, uh, you know, very fundamental techniques that, that they work at his gym. And he's in a very comfortable place right here. Yeah. Not, not, not really exerting too much. Not trying too hard, but just doing just enough. Yeah, Andrew would, would be well served to try and plan his feet to some position and free up that arm that Woodley's got trapped. Yeah, you know, really from here, you just got to explode up, dude. Like, you're already getting your face pounded. You really just have to explode up. Like, how how Karan's on his right side, he needs to get his right knee to the floor because then he can explode up to his feet. That's right. But, but from here, you know, he's just holding Woodley down, which is holding himself down as yes. well. Yeah, just kind of minimizing and, you know. He's keeping himself from getting hit, but it's not getting you off the floor. Right. And I... You know, these are five, I don't know why they ring the bell. This is supposed to be a five-minute fight. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I'm showing two minutes left. It's all good. <laughs> so unless they, they change no, it to a three-minute fight, I don't no. know what – not real sure what the hell that's about, folks. Oh, no. Unless somebody changed something in the rules for these two guys. That should be say, hanging out from, our, from the owner, Thomas Bussey, who just apologized to us, as he should, you son of a bitch, that – I'm kidding, Thomas. Hey, get up. This is actually – Jake Woodley's Woodley. first. So this is why we had no information on Woodley because this is his first. This is his ever first fight. fight, amateur. Otherwise, he just went straight pro. Got you. Which makes a lot of sense. Andrew needs to In be the thinking. state of Texas. Andrew needs start, to be thinking about uppercuts here. Yeah, when you start your career, you start with three minute rounds. So in the state of Texas. That, okay, so, so Andrew Curran decided. You know what? I'll give him your three minutes instead of five. All right, makes and, sense. And Woodley having fun. Look you can see him shot. start to look for these overhands, which look gets at, him these awesome shots. This. Curran's going for a ride. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just that, just that instinct of wanting to grab that cage, dude. Just no chance. Curran stays on his feet once Woodley gets his hands clasped together. Unless, unless Curran's got some type of a hidden technique, we ain't hidden seen. jujitsu submission, a sambo rolling into a knee bar <laughs> off your back technique. <clears throat> Jake Woodley is is showing that phenomenal wrestling. Yeah, it ain't looking too good for Curran, but he's still in this fight, man. Looking for an, for an arm bar from the bottom. You know, ju just short. It was, it was kind of telegraphed, which, which is my opinion. The only reason that uh, Woodley was expecting that arm bar. But, you know, f sound technique from Curran. And Curran's, you know, continuously working, trying to fight that, fight that uh, left hand of Woodley. But, you know, he's just resting too much. Unfortunately, you just cannot afford to rest on the bottom. No, like, I mean, you, you, for one second. You've got to, like I said, you've got to explode. You've got to find a place. You've got to, you got to find, find I mean, a place any chance, when you're on the bottom, any second that you feel like you need to take a deep breath actually needs to be you getting up to your, your feet. That's exactly right. Because on top, Woodley might be able to take some chances to rest, but, you know, it ain't going to do a whole lot. Woodley still just staying on top, just uh, yeah. has an answer for everything Kron tries. Yeah, what you, which you would expect, you know, a wrestler. What you know, he's just gonna smother you with with constant pressure, what, which is, he's doing, and he's throwing some pretty good leather to back it up. Oh, that was a nice left elbow there. Yeah, Wood Woodley's starting to just chip away and take off here in this fight. But I think we're seeing with Andrew that doesn't have a lot of experience of getting off of his back with being under this kind of pressure. And Don't, this happens when you focus on jiu-jitsu. That's exactly there's no, right. In my opinion, there's no too much focus on jiu-jitsu, but when you're trying to focus on MMA, there is too much gi. And too much gi, in my opinion, does this to your to you as an MMA fighter. Well, I, I resting think, here. I think back. I've seen plenty of no gi fighters that are comfortable fighting off their back. You can't do that in an MMA fight. Yes. You have to have the wrestling skills. You need you need the ability. In fact, you you need to just be able to get up. That's like, it. That's it. Bottom sure, line. Sure, you might know a good triangle and an armbar, but that's not going to win you the fight when you're slick and naked, basically. That's, that's a slick and naked. God, that's hot. You've got to stretch the guy. You got to bring him out. You got to bring him in and work stuff. But if you're yeah. just going to lay there, you, you're going to get you're your gonna, ass pounded. You're going to get fucking whoops. Excuse yeah. my French. But no, that you're exactly right. One of the main lessons that I, I never will forget is if you push a guy, they'll push back. If you pull a guy, they'll pull back. That's right. So when you're here in guard, that's the type of things you need to be doing constantly, pushing and pulling to get a reaction. And that's not what Karen's doing here, why he's down two rounds. Yeah. And, and Woodley going right I mean, just, away. Just like, why would Woodley need to stand up and take that risk when he's gotten the takedown every single time he's tried? What he's again, you can you see that this young man in, in Jake Woodley is an elite level wrestler, yeah, because he was able to drop down lightning quick and do an ankle pick that was just spectacular. And at the beginning of the round, yes, like not even 20 seconds into the round, he's like, Nah, let me just get this back to the ground. I've been dominating this kid for two rounds already. Uh, it's it's an impressive thing to see, and I give it to Andrew. I mean, he's He's tough. I mean, he's not He's not Ooh. quit by any means. Nice two hard strikes from Woodley on the top. And again, like, Kranz working these angles and, you know, doing a little fighting off his back. But, you know, 
it, it ain't gonna win a fight for you, but no, and it, the guy's too slippery. He's too skilled to, to work a triangle. Yeah, no, you far too that's skilled. It's not gonna work. You gotta fight. You, only only place I see Cran winning this fight is on the stand up. That's right. And not even there, just because uh, Woodley's just been so disciplined. That's right. Nice push away from Cran. But, but, but I mean, it was a good up. push. But you got to know how to use the fence at that. You point. do that right then. He should have pressed his leg against the floor and put his back on that wall, and then he can what we call shoulder walk and just walk his shoulders up. Uh, he's in a bad position right here because Woodley is going to set up yep. for but every, serious ground attack. Every time Woodley's ended up here, Coran's not using this wizard like he has to get up on his other arm. He's like hooking the head. Yeah. And that's just like lack of experience in my opinion. Well, he, it's fortunate that he's slippery, that they're both slippery because yeah. that's allowed Andrew to, to really get out of some bad positions. He's go, looking for that Kimura. Just as a, you know, not going to suck that in tight enough. And, you know, I, I used to love Kimuras. Oh, I but, for, but for MMA, like. They're a good escape mechanism. Yes. Good and escape. Control. And good reversal mechanism. But not, you're not really going to finish it. No, you gotta, no. You got to grab their glove, dude. It's, it's, you just don't have the grip. Even, no. Even if you have my size hands, you still just don't have the grip. I, I Absolutely. I mean, it can be, especially off your back or, or somebody, you know, is, is to grab the reverse Kimura and use that as a as a lever. But like I say, you know, getting it, oh, just not like the old days. Hard ground and pound here by Woodley. Yeah, Jake's doing a heck of a job here. Ten seconds left. I just love the discipline of the game plan. I do hate fights like this, well, but, I, but I love to see a guy who's disciplined. Yeah, because people are going to look at it and go, oh, you know, it's a little boring or whatever. Good sportsmanship. You would take a step or two over the opposite direction, they'll cut you off. Like you can't, you can't get Ladies out of this. Ladies and corner. gentlemen, at the three rounds of fighting action, we go to the judges for a decision. All three judges have scored the bout 30-27 in favor by unanimous decision. Jake Woodley.